Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you would like to see how I got this look right here, then you know the drill. Just keep on watching. So to start out, I'm just going to be moisturizing my face as usual and then going in with my Skindinavia primer spray. You can still use my discount code Chelsea Randall to save some dollars. Foundation of choice today is Chi Chi's Fabulous and Flawless. This one is a big favorite of mine, although I haven't tried the new formula. Let me know if you have tried it and if you like it. Now taking my RCMA palette, I'm going over any areas that I want a little extra coverage instead of going in with more foundation. Now I've already done my eyebrows and I've also done my base and now I'm just going in with this sort of bone colored shade just to set my soft ochre paint pot. Now before I go in with eyeshadow, I'm actually going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contouring Kit to contour my eyes first. So just deepening up the crease, getting the real eye shape a little bit more of definition. Now just taking this shade here, on my Sigma E40 brush. I'm going to be focusing that in the outer V of my eye and then taking it in windscreen wiper motions through my crease and then focusing it on the inner corner as well. And then taking this shade here to deepen things up and patting that in the outer V and just kind of flicking it inwards a little bit just to blend and transition that nicely. You don't want it to be too harsh. You kind of just want to flick it in and feather it to blend it in. And as always, then blending everything out. Now taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm popping this down as almost like a base that's really going to help Boom Boom Room pop when we do pop it on. It's just going to make it really true to colour. And I'm just taking this shade here to run as sort of a transition shade. I just thought things were a little bit too dark for myself. <laughs> and then we're going to take Boom Boom Room and pop that on the lid. I like to use my finger just because I find it a lot more pigmented and a lot more true to what it looks like in the pan. And then of course, again, going to blend and blend and blend. Now that we have eyes done, going back in with my RCMA palette, I'm just sort of highlighting the face very lightly. I didn't want to sort of contour and highlight too harshly today. So just doing sort of a light, natural looking highlight, I guess. <laughs> And then of course I am blending out with my Real Techniques sponge. I'm really liking this one at the moment. And then I'm going in with my Bare Minerals. I'm just going to pat that and sweep that under my eyes just to brighten things up. And then of course contour and set all my foundation with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contouring Kit. And then using my Pony Cosmetics contouring brush just to deepen up my temples and my nose contour, of course. And then using that Sigma E40 brush again, just popping that shade there underneath the lower lash line just to blend everything together. And then taking this shade here just to deepen things up a little more. I'm just patting that on the outer V and then sweeping it in towards the tear duct. And then my favourite step of all, we are highlighting. This is Becca Opal. And I really like to use this Sigma brush for this. It's sort of meant for contouring, but I find it really, really nice for highlighting my cheekbones. It's just a good shape, I think. And then I like to use my angled eyeshadow brush by EXO Beauty to do the inner corners and my nose and Cupid's bow and everything like that. I just really like the angle on it. I find it very easy to work with. 
And I'm really trying to name more brushes for you, but this one didn't have a name. So we're just going to call it a fan brush because that's what it is. And I'm just doing the brows with that. And then going in with some Laguna Bronzer by NARS. And just sort of patting and working that into the cheekbones and the temples. And just adding some definition and bronziness. And then going to add some mascara. So I'm just using the Their Real Mascara by Benefit. And for lashes, I'm using House of Lashes Iconics. Then I'm just going to be lining my tight line and my waterline. Ooh, those lashes are bouncing. <laughs> And naturally my lip line isn't very defined so I like to add a little bit of highlighter so I can see the outline of my lip before I go in with some lip liner. This one's one called Neutrally by Clinique. It's one of my favourites. And today I thought I would try out Underground by Dried Cosmetics. This is my first time using it and I'm kind of digging it. I really like it actually. Spritz off with some Fix Plus and you're done. Okay guys, so that is everything that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. You know, I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. I've got all the works. I love talking to you guys. Tag me in your recreations. And I hope you have a fabulous day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Subscribe to my mom's channel. I'll give you a big kiss if you do. And give it a big thumbs up. Nope. Okay, bye. Bye.